Okay, this is a trigger group out of a Winchester Model 50 semi-automatic shotgun. A friend of mine brought me his shotgun. He got it from his grandfather. Uh, it looked like the gun had not been cleaned in many years. Thanks to uh, Frank Bergen, who had a YouTube video on how to disassemble a Model 50, got it apart, got the trigger assembly out, took it apart, cleaned it all up, and now for Nathaniel, I'm going to make a video on how to take this apart in case he ever has to in the future. <clears throat> on this side, you have pin there, pin there, pin there. This is the safety. This spring serves two functions. It operates the uh, trigger, also comes back in here, and I believe it operates the uh, either the sear or the trigger. On this side, only have one pin there visible. This is a short pin which just goes through this, and one spring which operates that. And of course the safety again do a function test on it, hammer locks in, safety engage, does not fire, turn off the safety, pull the trigger, it fires, hold the trigger back, hammer locks back in the second sear, release, there's a click into the first sear, works again. Ah, to take it apart. First thing you have to do is remove this part to get that out. Gonna have to press up on this right here, push it out. Disengage the spring, and that part is out. And the spring is out. Now the next part to take out would be this pin. Because this spring also works as a catch on this pin. So this spring has to be removed before that pin can be taken out. And to get it, I'm going to have to use a hook to go in there and push it. Disconnect this spring here, take it out, let it unwind, and the spring comes out, then the pin comes out. It leaves us just with one pin. If you notice, the pin is larger on this side than on that side. Typically, when you drive a pin out, you drive it from the left to the right. This has to go the other way. This one needs to go from the right to the left. Oh, I use a hockey puck with a hole drilled in it. Makes it a lot easier. And then we have that part, and then, oh, it should come the trigger. Now, I do not mess with the safety, because the safety is put in by a tiny, tiny screw right there. And with the age of this firearm and the fact that it has never been cleaned, I'm not even going to mess with that little screw. I tried, put the screwdriver in, turned. If I mess up the head of that screw, I'm screwed, so I just 
leave it there since the safety works just fine. And that's how to take it apart.